going on guys, it's Improving Gaming and welcome back to History Wave. Uh, today I'm actually going to... I was actually going to do a story. Why is it... Why is my dude dead slow? No, I don't really want you. Okay. You literally caused nothing but trouble. Well, I should have knew you were trouble when you walked in. Oh God, what's what's wrong with me today? Come on, come on, Gollum. So yeah, base. Hmm. Well. I don't know which one to go with. The fact that today had the uh, trap inch event, and I got lucky with game five trap in shiny trap inches. Oh. the fact that. Actually, yeah, let's go with the trap inch one. Basically, when the trap inch event started today, I I generally had low expectations again a shiny trap inch because when it started, hardly there was only like three spawned around me. So, like, ugh. But I also couldn't focus on it. Focus, focus on it. Focus on it due to having a guild battle on it. Unison. So, what I did was, whenever I lost, I whenever I it was like five minutes or something like that, five three minutes. Are you kidding me? How, how do I find the exit? Right, when I was like five or three minutes or something, like that, a few minutes away, uh, in the battle, I would const I would constantly switch back over, refresh, make sure the game's refreshed, the Pokemon have been all summoned. And bear in mind, this is with a friend who's not as a big Pokemon fan as I am. I'll just say one thing: she really hates the fact that I somehow get lucky whenever I'm hanging around with her. Come on, dude. At least this way you get more XP. I can't even expect you to be healed by the end of the round. So, yeah, and basically, everyone in Liverpool, because I go to Liverpool to do raids, so I go to Liverpool to do events if I'm able to at times. Which, it whenever they're on Saturdays, I go to Liverpool anyhow. But went to went to town and I was like, ugh, looks like it's going to be one of those events. Which it says it's going to be amazing, but uh, it's going to be one of those ones. What room did that turn off? Literally, like the last room. Yeah, and so I was just like, fine, let's just keep it like that. So I took it on the chair and just carried on and ignored, ig literally ignored the event. Had the game on still, just making sure every periodic. So went over. When I was in Liverpool, I was just like, hmm. Okay, let's just focus on having fun. And he's gone. And of course he did. Did 
dude. You literally. Well, this run failed. Great. But yeah, basically, um, just started walking around. I was like, "Oh, okay, we've lost." Nah, I've not really got much. Hmm. Oh well, carried on. And just before I got my first shiny, I was actually quite shocked because as we were going in, as we were going towards James Street, James Street, Liverpool One. Main area. It was so annoying. Health regenerate. Need you, and I need you. You're the best attack. No, you're the best health and speed. That's why I needed you. And basically, Yamaha, the company who creates the keyboards and that, God, like they do an amazing job. I'm gonna lie, that's actually where the because like speed upgrade. Like my dude can easily sip sip in and out. I I kind of hate these rooms. Get that because that gives plus 10 attack per, per killed monster temporary 25. And yeah, basically, it was just it was quite amazing because what Yamaha was doing was letting people experience the new sound they're doing and. It was literally a dome, which, if you, if you would have gone in, you would have just been surrounded by different sounds, and they were trying to make that, make it extra. Ah, I, I can't even say the word. Aesthetically pleasing to the ears. How was that like the hardest word in my vocabulary? And in doing so, it, it's just one of those type of things. Have I got enough for that now? Wow, that like, dude speeds on by. No, I need a few more root. I need a few more things. But yeah, with, with Yamaha being there and advertising their new, not uh, doing this sound room, it just seemed kind of interesting. But due to that, I was actually quite shocked. And as I said, I got the first shiny I got off. Instantly and stupidly went straight to evolve it. Not thinking. Oh, that could be a lot better. And uh, well, in doing so, I ended up. Well, in doing so, I ended up going to the gardens, St. John's Gardens, and ended up getting 100%, which seemed a lot better. Well, it seemed it was a lot better. 
Well, it's just one of those things, like, so many things happen the same day, it's kind of weird, like, Yamaha was, had their little dome out, you've got the zombie thing happening in Liverpool at the moment, where, the, if you go to certain areas in Liverpool, you get a zombie ticket, or something like not a zombie ticket, a zombie energy thing, like they did with the dinosaurs, when it was dinosaur week, but, it's, something you never really expect to happen in your local area, but it happens. And it's just weird. That it, it just, it's just weird that it just happens and everyone's just like, oh yeah, that's fine. Like, what, what's with the zombie thing? No point for it. Actually, let's quickly get a shot. What does the shop even do? Shop. If a merchant is if a merchant is discovered, he will teleport to the module. Oh. So the shop's useless. And I just wasted all my I wasted all my uh, gears on it. Like that's quite fast. But yeah. It's just like I said guys, it's just one of those things that you might not expect to happen, but it happens. You might meet something new, you might meet someone new. You never know what happens in crowds of day until it happens. You never so Terms of speaking, the message basically I'm trying to get across is don't just stay in your house. Yeah, have fun playing games with friends and all that, but if you're gonna have fun, make sure you also go out. Who farted? Make sure you go out and like enjoy your life. Go out and just enjoy what the A offers. Like, as I said. I went out and I didn't expect to didn't expect to get what I got. Pat, no. I ended up coming home with five shinies and I'm happy with it. So yeah. Just don't take anything for granted. Just enjoy your day. And as I say to my friends, just go with the flow. If you rush yourself too much, you force something to happen. It's just going to happen worse. It's not going to be for the best. It's going to be for the worst. So if you ever force something to happen, it's just going to counteract you. It's just going to counteract and just go, Oh, you, you want that to happen? Well, no. Why did I just fill a room that's the last room in that area? Oh well. I'll never know. But, I did it. And I'm happy I chose it. That's all I can say. But yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you have, just relax and have fun. Don't stress about stuff. Relax. Because stressing can cause a lot more problems and a lot more damage to you than relaxing and making sure you take care of yourself. So, just respect yourself, guys. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.